You know what? I'm just going to start my recording completely over. Um, I got Ark Survival Ascended here, as you can see. And it's a game I've been wanting to play for quite a while. And I was like, I want to do a little series on this, depending on how it goes. Because I've always had a hard time trying to make a series on this if it wasn't a live stream. Because there's a lot of grinding and a lot of like tough things that happen. And it's like, do I just... I never had enough room to just rawly record a bunch of it. Which now I have, I have 5 terabytes to do whatever I want with recording. Which isn't much, but still, it counts towards it. And I wanted to do my favorite map, Scorched Earth, while waiting for my most favorite map, Aberration... But I'm thinking, I'm like, should I do a map like the island that's a little more recognizable as I learn the game again? Would that be easier, or should I just do Scorched Earth because I really love the way this map plays? And would this one, would the island be more optimized because it's the first one they made on this and had the longest time for updates? So would this be better on my PC? Higher functioning than Scorched Earth, less crashes and stuff? why I learn and play however I could just do scorched earth and so I'm just kind of in this debate but then there is the center as well and it's just like if aberration comes out is that going to be potentially like I it's only crashed one time but I'm just I'm just trying to think of all of the options that could happen before they happen and like get them all understood before I make a decision and so I'm kind of bouncing back and forth this one has more environments more exploration it has a snow biome or it has a redwoods it has the dinosaur like island the volcano the regular shorelines the swamps it kind of has a mix scorched earth is you're inside of a microwave that never turns off and it's just hot desert and like maybe like desert there's desert forest and desert sand and desert rock that's about it <laughs> But it is a map that I absolutely love, and there's wyverns in it and stuff like that. But if my game crashes trying to get wyvern eggs, that would be horrible. That would not be fun at all. There's certain times that, if it does crash often, would not be fun for crashes to happen. And so what I'm thinking is, I'm just trying to find a solution here. I am trying to get a better computer in the future for running this on max settings, potentially. Maybe I should run them on the lowest settings. I'm trying to do all medium to get some good graphics but i mean i could turn it down i think i should get scorched i should give scorched earth another try i think that's what i'm going to do that's what i'm deciding right now let's just get in there and play it and something about this gives me ps3 vibes this menu and i think it's because these hexagons and this planet here kind of give me ratchet and clink tools of destruction vibes like almost exactly like simi similarities to like the menus of that game like an uncanny resemblance. Um, I think I'm gonna go to this medium zone here because there's. I think this is an area I want. I liked being there was like some kind of area I always liked being, but I just for some reason with the way this map works, I don't know. And since this is a remaster of Scorched Earth, and supposedly they changed certain things and like landscapes because I heard they did that for the center, so I'm assuming they did it here too. Um, I don't know if it's just tweaked enough where I. Or nothing's really that familiar yet. Or I don't know why my hand's up. My hand's up here just like I'm moving around, moving around as I'm talking. Um, I don't know. Let's just respawn and see what happens. Oh, I thought it looked like all skeletal for a second. Oh, okay, hold on. Whoa, look at those clouds. Those clouds are crazy. I think the clouds might run up a lot. I might have to turn off dynamic clouds if that is the case. Those are crazy. Um, I don't think I want to just get resources immediately and try to build a base. I kind of want to... I want to give a nice look around and just get adjusted. like Because I haven't played Ark in a very long time. And these graphics are actually insanely good. Now, I haven't played the old old arc in quite a long time, so I don't have like the like focus on those graphics, and now I'm seeing something new. I haven't played it in a long time, where now I'm coming back to it, and it's just like, I still am kind of... I feel like this is how I remember it, almost, even though this isn't. But it's still very impressive, and I'm very excited to play. Oh, this looks familiar! Okay, okay, I understand these mountains. 
earlier when I was trying to play on here, I nothing was familiar and it was confusing me. I know where I'm at. I know where these spots are. So this mountain range right here, there used to be like some bases across it on my PVE server. There's one at the end, down at the end of the rock things over that way somewhere. It was new players I was helping. I gave them some wyverns and they gave me some baby wolves. And then there was a base right there on that ledge, dead center of my screen, that I stole Rex eggs all the time because it was PVE and you couldn't really do anything, but I used to fly around taking everybody's eggs when they were offline because they just leave them on breeding. And so now I know kind of where I'm at. I think this is the spawn I want to be at. Okay, there's a Jerboa. I definitely want to get a Jerboa tamed. Wait. What's that symbol above its head? It shows like a heart. Do I just tame these by walking up and feeding them, or do I have to knock them out? And Jerboas spawn at high levels, which is crazy, because usually small animals don't spawn that high of level. Unless they changed it in this game. Wait a minute, am I wrong to think that? it was? I remember one creature only spawning at 1 and 2, but I, I, I could be wrong. And we're on default settings, medium difficulty. And then I adjusted the world level to maximum difficulty. And I set one thing to, to a 1. Oh, he's really bloody. I hope there's nothing bad around here. That wouldn't be good. Oh, there's raptors. There's a raptor right there. Okay, yeah, yeah. We don't, we don't want to be part of that. Let's just keep grabbing these bushes because we are going to have to make some fiber clothing and it'll give us XP while I try to figure out how to play. These new sound effects are so cool. And, like, look how realistic this sand is. If I was able to max out the settings all the way, this would just be insane. And, like, the way the characters look... It's almost, it's almost eerie seeing them, like how, how they change the movements and stuff, because it's, it, it's like so much better than it was. And I'm, that's one of the main things I, that brought me to this game, is the characters don't look ugly anymore. It actually made the characters look somewhat normal, and so like, that, that plays a big factor to me in games, is if the, char if you're the character you play as looks normal or not. Unless, like, it's a game like Ratchet and Clank where they're purposely not supposed to look normal, like a creature, or, like, it's just the art style, but there's, like, Power Worlds characters. I, I, I don't like what they look like, the main characters, but I don't really pay attention to that too much because it has so many cool aspects to that game that are outside of just the character, but it would be nice if we made those characters better. Alright, we can level up. I'm a little bit rusty with what to level up, but I definitely know I want to get my carry weight up. That's the first thing. You must own Bob's. I want to buy this DLC. I really want to buy this DLC. I want these. These are just skins that I put on stuff? Okay. Wait, these ones aren't part of a DLC. What? I just get the Desert Ghillie? Oh, cool. Okay, okay. I like that. I like that. I like how these skins are up here too. So those are the skins I'd get if I got that thing. Frontier structure. I thought there was more of these that you could get. Maybe it's something else to see the other ones. Or you just use that and it works on everything. Okay, let's get a campfire, stone hatch, spear, all the basic stuff, all this nonsense. Why not? I don't have very many points, but it's not like I'm going to be able to do very much just yet. Um, Foundation? Yeah. Decor box? Oh, interesting. I'm just going to save up for the storage box later. Might as well grab a sleeping bag. Um, we're going to have to make some spears. I'm most likely going to die a few times, and when it gets dark, I'm just going to, like, not record and grind off. Grind off a recording for a while. Um, let's try to get down to the water. I would love to go to my old base location that's, like, out in the desert up that way. Although, it's just a blank slot. This is a blank slice of nothing, or because uh, it's out in the wastes, is where I used to like to build. Or I always wanted to build there, and then I ended up doing it. I got attacked by desert worms, but I had behemoth gateways around my base, so they really couldn't get in. It does look like I'm going to die. I don't feel like I'm cooking. Where's the heat symbol at? It's not hot. I'm not thirsty. I'm not hungry. My health is low from falling. I am healing somewhat fast. Okay. Oh, look at this foliage. Regular Scorched Earth would never look like this. This is cool. What? 
And so, okay, so what my idea is for my little series is I just kind of want to have, like, a goal in place. But to, but for this first episode, I don't really have any goal in place other than just getting adjusted and looking at all the cool colors and stuff like that and just... Uh-oh. That means a storm's gonna happen. That's gonna be so cool. I can't wait to experience one of them. This place is so nice. This is way better looking than the original Scorched Earth. Well, a lot of people are mad because they're just like, it should have just been an update, but like, this is more than just updating a game. It fully changed If they just made this an update for the base game of Ark and made it free, it's just like some people would want to be able to play the original version with the stuff that's in it and mechanics, because this is like a full like overhaul of really just everything. I know there's a lot of similar things in place, but they like redid everything so it's just like I, I don't know i don't know if it should just be free like that i think people just want free stuff i mean it would be nice but i mean they're making all the dlcs free like all the dlc maps and then those are gonna be free so you don't have to buy those so if you never bought any of the dlc maps because i know a lot of people didn't buy genesis or a lot of my friend group didn't and so i mean they're gonna eventually get those for free but uh i mean if you did pay for them in the past i mean it would have been nice to get like some kind of extra free item in this game for owning all the old past stuff but i don't know i don't really care that i that i had to pay for this really but it did make it so i wasn't able to play it for a while though because i don't feel like buying it now i'm able to okay here's some patches that should not be patchy is my com my computer's running fine too which is really nice oh my goodness just look at this just look at it. It's great. <laughs> I'm just looking at a generic blank area that's like... To anybody that's never played these games before and they just see this, they're just like, yeah, it's a game you're looking at. And, but it's like, compared to like all my old memories I had of it not looking anything like this... It's, it's weird because it just feels... It, it almost feels like Ark in real life in a way. Like, it just... The amount of foliage and everything, it feels like, um... It's like playing a I don't I don't know I don't know how what I'm even trying to thought I'm trying to explain here but it's like playing a game that's not very immersive and then going into a game that's very immersive and it's just like it's crazy how it just sucks you in. It makes you feel like you're there versus like some games that are just like yeah, I see it, it's a game. Um I'm trying to compare two games but I haven't played any games that like bothered me that way in a while. It's like okay, Okay, this is for Call of Duty fans. It's like the difference between Black Ops 4 and Black Ops 3. Black Ops 3 zombies, the graphics and like the way everything's shaped, when you play it, you feel like you're there, you can see everything. Then BO4 had better te textures, but there was so much mess on screen that like you couldn't, you didn't feel like you were there. And you, it's, it's almost like the more detail they added to that, it wouldn't matter. It just, you couldn't enjoy it. And then now it feels like I'm just like, Tucked in. Oh my goodness, I know I was hearing something, but I see it now. You can go you can go ahead and stay away from me. Uh-oh. Want my game to crash. I'm trying to run. Yeah, we I definitely want to build somewhere by the water. Is that a Rex? Oh I don't want to build somewhere where Rexes spawn. That's not gonna be great. Unless I want to tame a Rex. But it'll be a while before I can get a saddle. I mean, I'm not anywhere close to a Tame and a Rex, but I mean, if I did just, like, grind out right now a bunch of arrows, I could probably just run some circles around him, like, around that rock and tame it. It probably wouldn't be too bad. But I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. I don't need to be... I, like, if I get that, that's gonna change the game. It's gonna kill the early game for me. I wanna start off s small with, like, a Jerboa. Um, get a house built first. Maybe get one of the llamas figure it out slowly oh oh a chicken nugget oh ants i will say there is less dinosaurs but i think that makes the game better it makes it so you're not dying constantly and you can actually like roam around but there's still dangers and so even though that's just because they can't optimize the game the same way to have as many dinosaurs otherwise it probably wouldn't run properly oh my goodness it's a cat well, 
This place has significantly more water than the original, though. I remember this was just a little puddle, and someone brought over their sea creatures from, like, the center. Those, like, big sausage-looking bathos bathosaurs, but whatever they're called. They look like giant sausages, and they just had them sitting in the puddle and scorched earth. Like, they really brought that here so it could suffer. Oops. Okay, let's look at this map. Okay, so we're getting some of the water on the map. You know what? I kind of want to just roam around and try to uncover as much of this map as possible. So I'm going to respawn here, try to make my way up north, and just kind of get a little overview of everything to see where we would like to build and stuff like that. I'm probably doing a lot of talking, so that's going to make this video really long. But, you know, it's, it's my first time experiencing this new version of Ark, so I don't mind if this is a little bit longer. But then after this, I want I would like to try to make my videos a little bit shorter for this and just like, you know, but we'll just see what happens. I kind of just go with the flow. I got some, I got somewhat of a plan of what I would like to do for videos on this, but like, we'll just see what happens because usually I make a bunch of plans and then I just go with how I feel and then like, which is different than the plan and then I don't know. It doesn't matter. Um... Let's just follow this water up. Oh, no, no, no. I died on the other side of this. Coming down that way. And then I would have made it over to that and I'd come over here. So, yeah, my base... Oh, wait a minute. I don't think my base was down that way. Was it? I'm just kind of... I When I squint my eyes and look to the... Oh, there's, like, buildings over there in the distance. Um, I'm just, like, squinting my eyes and I'm seeing memories of, like, where I went and... It either was down that way and out to the right, or... Oh, it definitely wasn't. I know where I built my base. I knew I was thinking my memory's wrong. The, 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 the wolf base and the other base were right where they were, where I was saying they were. And, like, the guy I took the dino eggs from. Oh. Oh. We're not going to talk about that. Oops. Um. But my base was actually this way. I remember now. I want to go over there. There was like a spot to put like a water fountain down and something else. And that's kind of why I built out there because it was at least nearby. And uh, my friend Eric built up on the cliff side and like had a grapple hook to go in and out of my base, which was cool. But he didn't really play that much on the server. Usually the servers that... Like we'll bounce around from server to server playing for a while. And then the one server that I end up playing for like three months, he usually leaves a weekend and then comes back and I have everything. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. Alright, uh oh. See, the thing is about, like, that thing running over there and... That thing's footsteps, they sound similar to the, uh... Their structures right there. They sound similar to raptor footsteps, but I wonder if they change what raptors sound like in this game. So there's a structure right here. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna get eaten if I go in here. I don't care. Shoot. Run for it! Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. You're so fast. They're so fast. Hey, I'm trying to I'm trying to look. Okay, so that is a water fountain spot. I just want to see if there's an explorer note. If I can just pick up an early on explorer note. Even though I could save it and utilize it for something else. The XP would be nice. Oh here it is. Are we gonna get a story quote? I hope they're not like copyright or anything. I don't hear anything. Oh, oh yeah, the giant centipede bug. Ooh, actually, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. That is no-go. That's a no-go. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'm dehydrated. I don't think there's water up this way. I really don't think there's water up this way. Oh, but cactuses, I remember. Just punching them gives me water. And thatch, and then I can- I think I can eat the cactus pieces for more water. You know what, why I have the double XP multiplier, or whatever that is, I should just pick up as much stuff as I can, and try to build an outfit, and maybe kill something. There's a wolf right there, I don't want to get near that. I don't know if, if I die, if the double XP will go away. So, let's just try to be extra careful. I've never played this on PC2 either, so like I'm kind of just guessing with the controls and hoping that that's what makes them. Oh, these sound effects are cool. 
Let's get. I want to get at least 200 to 250 carry weight. Why is there an, a 9 in that? How did my carry weight get a 9 in there? Well, there's 250. That's what I want. Um, Fortitude? I'd like to have 10 Fortitude while I'm here. I always heard that was decent, but I mean, I could be wrong on that. Shootable bottle structure. Interesting. So there is some other things you can craft while... Okay. I don't really want to look too much into those. Whoops. I for inventory. Oh, I'm all bruised up. I'm hot. I'm burning up. Maybe it's sprinting. Maybe sprinting makes me warm. It could just be really hot out this way. Oh, that thing's going to try to steal from me. No, thank you. You can go somewhere else. Okay, this area is a little bit different. Oh, there's a... Well... That is my life out here. I mean, the heat was going to kill me anyways. Oh, no, I was trying to figure out what that sound was, but it was just the thumps of a giant mountain lion coming for me. Sabertooth tiger. Okay, so now that I know where I built, which is like... You can see right here where the sand dunes start. I built approximately right here. This is where I built, yeah. And so, would that mean the dragons are up on this side? Or are they over here? I don't know. That's pretty close to an easy zone. For it to be that bad. But I think it's just easy because there's... I think there's water right here or something. There might be water nearby. Oh no, I spawned here, but it like put me by this riverbank. Which is probably the reason it's the easy zone is the water. Yeah. Um, since I did build down here originally, although the map is different, I'm thinking maybe I should just come up here, find the closest water zone, and then let's just build a small shack and try to, uh, you know what, let's just spawn at the next one and just keep following through with the original plan. But I'd like to get started with like a little shack. Or something, just something to protect myself, get a Jerboa, and then slowly start getting some gear and arrows so we can start fighting and protecting ourselves. Get our fortitude up to 10. What is that? Oh, that was just one of those uh, things that, like, the camels. It just looks super weird from that angle. Um, but yeah, I just want to get a little safe zone. I want to get geared up so I can start fighting and at least be able to protect myself a little more. Potentially a ghillie suit. I think these bugs might be able to drop organic polymer. Probably not now that I'm thinking of it. But there's probably some way to get organic polymer an easy way. I would hope. It sounds like there's something dangerous over here. Is that just a doe dick making that sound? It is. Um. Honestly, building right there on that little flat piece by this riverbed... And we have a few directions to go. That wouldn't seem bad. And we did lose our double XP. Unless I just ran out of time. There's a lot of people that does don't like this map. But personally, I've always had a sweet spot for it. It was I just always felt like a desert done right. And honestly, I think it's even better. Just because of the foliage difference now. Oh, there's kangaroos. I don't really want one, but there is kangaroos. What is this thing? Let me take a look at you. Take a look at you. Interesting. Weren't the Jerboas making a sound like a storm was going to start? Like a desert storm? Maybe a different storm started? But I heard them make the sound. But I guess maybe it, it meant like... Some, it meant something else, but I don't know what it meant. That blue raptor looks so cool. I would love to get that blue raptor. He is awesome looking in the red. Those are my colors. Oh my goodness, no you did not. You hear that sound they make? They make that... That, that sound they make in the, 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 the movies. I can't remember, but that is way creepy. Oh, I hope they're not chasing me still. Oh, those are floating rocks. 
if I look behind me I'm, and I see him running, okay, I'm good. Never mind. I was just like, I, I, I just couldn't. I don't think, I, I, I would just have to let him take me. Wait. Oh. No, leave me alone, bugs. I think those raptors are still following me. I honestly think they're following me from down there. I thought I heard steps in the water, but I'm just going to keep going and hope for the best because the bugs are going to get me. Huh? Hey! Can there just not be two seconds without running into something? There's more bugs and there's a mountain lion behind me. Like, come on. I just want to find somewhere that I think seems like a nice spot to call home for now. Just a little simple base of operations location while I'm running around. I am just getting more and more hyped up to play this, and I can't wait for Aberration to come out. Like, I haven't really... I don't think they have have showed anything of Aberration yet. They've just kind of hinted at, we're gonna make it, here's the ARC logo, but I could be wrong. I need to do a little more research on it, but... I'm very curious to, f to see even just the trailer for it when it comes out, because I have a lot of high hopes for it. And, um... I mean, I've gotten the wyverns in official servers and, like, went through the whole process of, like, trapping and doing that. But I have never gotten a rock drake or the xenomorph alien creature thing that is in Aberration. I've never tamed either of those. Or even done a boss fight in Aberration. Now, I've done boss fights in other ones. I've attempted them in Scorched. Um... I have completed them on the island. I've done a lot of hard difficulty type stuff in this game, but I've never done Rockwell in Aberration. I've never got the Xenomorph or the Rock Drakes. I've tried. I've attempted. Oh boy, and it was so embarrassing how it was. I'm not even. I'm not gonna retell the story. Not today, anyways. But someday I'll say the story. I know. I, I think I said it once in the past, but it was really embarrassing. But I tried to get get it twice. I lost my crab and a Rock Drake wasn't my rock drake that was the embarrassing part and i deleted the game but um yeah i've never got any of those i want to actually try to build up to that when aberration comes out in september and actually like complete that as difficult as it is even if it like takes a lot of tries without like they're coming to being like okay i'm just gonna spawn one in because i want it now <laughs> no but uh yeah I really would like to do that. And right now, my first goal, if I can do it before September comes, because September's right around the corner, I want to get a, I want to get a wyvern on here and raise it up. Which is going to be a lot harder than it, than just saying that. And hopefully, I find a good high level egg so it doesn't, so I can have more time in between trying to trap wyverns. So, yeah. Um. Also, I have to build a trap. When I initially was getting wyverns, somebody already had a trap built there, and it was just one that flied in and it trapped them. And so I never had to waste time doing that because it was already there for me. So that did make it somewhat easier. And I don't know how laggy this game will be if I'm riding creatures and doing stuff, so it will be a different kind of challenge getting it. Because if I crash in there with the wyverns, it's kind of like GG's and I have to start over, and whatever I had is lost. But I, th I think I think it's gonna be really fun. All right, let's see. Honestly, I'm thinking right around here somewhere. If I can get away from these bugs, I know if they hit me once, it's GG's. Usually, I think in original arc they were faster than my walking speed. I'm actually faster than them when I'm out of stamina, which is very nice. Otherwise, it'd just be constantly killed by bugs, which would just be stupid. But if they, w I think if they hit me, I get. I get caused slowness, so it's like it's kind of nice. I like I like that change. This area would be really nice if there wasn't so many bugs. There is a there is so many bugs, so many bugs in this area. I was thinking about maybe building here, but it's because the constant bugs. Now there's a wolf right up there. There's some raptors down there, scorpions. There's a lot of deadly evil stuff here. So yeah, this just seems like it's terrible to be at.
But I mean, once I get a little bit started, I could probably fight them off every once in a while or even tame them since they're in the area. But I'd like to build somewhere as peaceful as possible. But usually the way Ark works is like, I'll find a nice peaceful area. It seems all right. There's nothing serious happening there. And then all of a sudden, oh yeah, by the way, an Alpha Raptor spawns here or a Giga spawns here. It just doesn't happen very often, so you wouldn't have known before you built. But now that you built here, let's spawn it in and have it just wreck your base for no reason. And even if you leave your base, it just wants to destroy your base. Even if you shoot at it and try to get it to leave the area alone, it just goes for the base. Oh, there's a little baby tiger! I just tamed a Pagos... Your first dino. That was not my choice to have that be my first dino. Thank you very much, Ark. Okay. I think we kind of got... Kind of got a good grasp of things to do. I think maybe I should call it quits for the first episode here. But I do want to continue playing. But I want to take a little 15-minute break. Let some things register in my mind. And, um... Well, I guess for the video's sake, it'd be tomorrow, unless I upload something else. Um, the next video should be making a nice little thatch hutch. A that I, oh my goodness. A little thatch hut is what I'm going to try to make. And I want to tame a jerboa. That's literally my goal. It's super simple. Thatch hut, easy materials, jerboa, small animal. Easy. I don't know if there's parasaurs on this map, but if there is, I'd like to tame one of them too. I am actually thinking, up here seemed nice, but I kind of went up into these hard zones. So, either, you know what, somewhere in between this, this seems like it wouldn't be bad. You know what, if I built right here, this wouldn't be bad. Honestly, this little patch here is nice and green, that would be cool, but I'm thinking, well, this is a medium zone. Maybe I just build right here in this medium zone area somewhere. Just somewhere along the water. Usually I wouldn't build by the water because I kind of like the challenge of just being out there. But I think I do. Man, this you can just tell from the map. This map is so much greener now. That's just awesome. I'm very excited for this. As you can see, we kind of painted a picture here. Uh, I guess. But uh, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys in the next one. Adios, amigos.